Hey guys, it's Dr. Diaz again. I'm here with Caleb this morning. Um, so Caleb is a, uh, he's been playing baseball for about 13 years now. Um, he comes in with some uh, medial elbow pain. Um, as we're examining, my first train of thought was uh, possibly, um, as, as he does, uh, he's saying when he curls, he feels like a little bit of tenderness down into the bicep, up into the bicep. So I was thinking initially maybe some sort of uh, bicep injury, but as we start palpating, looking at anatomy, um, I'm thinking we're having, uh, we're dealing more with like a golfer's elbow. So tennis tendonitis or tennis uh, 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 tendon inflammation um, in the medial elbow. Um, so like he says, when he curls, he feels like pinching down in here. As we palpate it, I'm, I'm assuming that we're dealing with some sort of tenderness inflammation. So we're gonna get in here. Um, for that, we use active release technique or myofascial release technique where we get in there and do some soft tissue work. Um, uh, after the adjustments, so we're gonna adjust his elbow, do some soft tissue work. Um, then after that, we're gonna use electronic stimulation to try to reduce some of that inflammation response now initially on something like this we're gonna get in and break up adhesions so initially it may be a little bit more more tender but then over time it should start to heal appropriately um, also he's had some low back pain um, so he was experiencing low back pain um, uh, from uh, deadlifting um, so deadlifted about 250 pounds um, did dead, deadlifts for a little bit started having low back pain so he's not deadlifting anymore at this point and um, we did a little bit of examination so upon examination um, the right leg um, uh, as we showed on video was uh, um, I, we, when we re assessed it was the right leg was appearing shorter right so it's telling me that we're gonna have some tightness in the low back pain in the, in the low back the SI joint so as I'm palpating he's feeling more pain on which side it's the right side the right side so we're palpating we're, we're, we're finding consistent evidence that we've had uh, some tightness in the low back muscles we're not having the symptom of compression which is gonna be pain and of tight muscles so that's pulling up his uh, uh, his leg um, causing it to appear shorter um, than the left side and you'll see that on video as we interject um, the examination um, and just to let you know um, follow us on Facebook Follow us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, tag your friends, like your friends. There's absolutely people just like Caleb uh, playing baseball for 13 years, low back pain, lifting 80%, 84% of the population has low back pain at some point in, your li in their life. Now, you've seen a lot of my candidates, 18 years old, 35 years old, 60 years old, different ages. It doesn't matter. Low back pain is not selective. It'll pick you and you know you're hurting. So come on and see us. Um, again, 703-369-2019 uh, here in Manassas, Virginia. Um, so now we're going to set up and show you the adjustment part of the of, of the visit. Um, right after the adjustment, um, throughout the adjustment, we're going to show you a little bit of soft tissue application. Uh, we do have a massage therapist, a, a couple of massage therapists here on site that help do some of the more tedious soft tissue work. Um, uh, during our sessions, I do more uh, focal release techniques. Um, after the adjustment, like I said, we're gonna show you uh, how we apply electronic stimulation to these areas of concern. A Little bit of elbow pain, um, which I'm thinking is something similar to tennis elbow, which is called tenosynovitis or, or tendon inflammation. Um, and we're gonna get some uh, adjustment through the entire spine. Um, so uh, Jason, if you wanna set up for adjustment right over here, and then Caleb, for you, we're gonna have you just scoot about that much up on your chair, and then a little bit more. And then lean your uh, upper body back right here. Right there's good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and palpate here through the neck and feel. Okay, so we feel something right here, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be a restriction here. As we were explaining to uh, Caleb that every segment should have six ranges of motion right right now we're coupling we're coupling an, a, a lateral extension um, uh, with a, a, a posterior extension which is going to create a rotational movement the way the facets sit on the spine and so i'm going to get some movement right into here this is a uh, relax right here for me very good okay good movement how'd that feel yeah that's good got some good movement into that joint Okay. First adjustment, Caleb? This is your first adjustment? Yeah. All right. All right. Another rookie? Yeah. He's it. He's Cairo the rest of his life. He won't, uh, he'll experience how good it feels to get adjusted and he'll continue using this as spinal wellness. Right there. You feel that there? Yeah. Okay. Relax right here for me. Good. Wow. Good movement there? Yeah. Good. All right. Very good. Okay. Let me have you lay face down right here for me. All right. 
That second one moved a lot more, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What exactly did you feel when we adjusted you? Uh, just uh, got a lot more relaxed. Okay. Did you feel anything like, like for instance, a lot of popping? Uh, yeah. Did you feel pain? Uh, there's more pain before. Okay. Did you feel? Did you feel? How do you feel after the adjustment? Uh huh. There's no pain at all. There's no just, pain at all in yeah. there. Okay. So guys, as as we're explaining this, I want you guys to know this because a, a lot of our our YouTubers and and Facebook uh, comments is like, oh, that looked painful. Wow, that looked like it hurt. Um, so it doesn't. I mean, we've done you know over 60 videos now, um, every single one. So now there's enough uh, just uh, uh, some uh, uh, clinical evidence. We don't just selectively pick the ones that aren't going to feel pain during the adjustment. He's a new patient. We've never seen him before. Um, so you're seeing it there, live action, that. There was no pain during that adjustment and obviously you heard the movement so it's not like we were uh, not moving through joints take a deep breath for me completely exhale very good feel that there yeah good okay okay relax right in here very good relax right over here very good okay stay right there all right, we're gonna check something here. All right, so I, I definitely wanna show this. Sometimes when we get some movement in the cervical spine and thoracic spine, we normalize foot length. Now it's still a little bit off, as you can see right here, but much better than it was just a while ago. We're still gonna get movement throughout the rest of the spine here, okay? So there are techniques to where when we get some neck adjustments, we start feeling low back relief because even though the symptom is right here, it could we, it's all connected. There's a chain of events here. Each muscle structure is covered by a fascia that could affect uh, 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 imbalances down in this level. So this is why when my patients come in, they get adjusted from top to bottom. He's not gonna tell me I have low back pain and I'm gonna just adjust here. I'm adjusting them from top to bottom because if I remove these restrictions for in the entire spine, we increase spinal health and get patients better faster. That's why we have fast results. That's why we have uh, patients that you know see us a few times and feel amazing. Take a deep breath in for me. Completely exhale. Very good. Let me have you lay on your side facing this way. We just uh, earlier had a YouTube uh, guy who's a uh, a bike racer. Um, he rides. Uh, relax your, your knee here. He rides dirt bikes for competition and he's usually placing third and fourth. I adjusted him a few times and he placed uh, first place last weekend. So he said that he thinks it's all Cairo. I of course did not encourage that response, but I believe it is. Take a deep breath for me. Completely exhale. Very good. Very good. Okay. Lay face in the opposite way for me. How'd that feel down there? It's pretty good. Good? Yeah. Top leg bent, bottom leg straight. Right here, give me this arm right here. Rest your head back that way. Okay. Take a deep breath. Completely exhale. Very good. Lay face up there for me. Okay, we're gonna get some long axis adjustment here. Um, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get a movement through the feet because if we have a solid posture from the ground up, right, we have stability from the ground, we're obviously gonna have better pelvic stability. I'm also moving so we can get some pelvic mobility um, uh, with this long axis adjustment here. So I distract just a bit and apply motion through the pelvis and through the foot here, through the ankle. Relax here. Good. All right, stay there, face up for me. We're gonna do one more, okay? Same thing here, get a little bit of traction. Good, very good. All right, stay right there. Um, let me have you lift both feet for me, like we did during examination, a little higher. Hold it right there, don't let me push down. Hold it a little higher, don't let me push down. Do you feel any difference? Yeah. What do you feel? Uh, nothing in my back at all. No pain? No. What did you feel during the exam when we did that? During the exam, it was a little bit of pain. There was like a pinching back there. Now, did you notice the difference in strength? Yeah. Remember the first time I was able to pull your feet down? Yeah, that was And this really time it's like, you're, we're holding it there? I yeah. used the same amount of pressure that I did pre and post uh, uh, adjustment, okay? Um, so now we're gonna get in here. Let me have you lay face down for me. Good, okay, all right. Okay. 
Okay, what do we got here? We still got a little bit of of of, mobi of, of uh, shortness, but nowhere near where we were, we were at uh, before the uh, adjustment. I'm gonna use some soft tissue work, some lotion here to loosen up some of these low back muscles a little more here. Okay. <clears throat> Again, we were dealing with this side here. Of course, more on the right side than the left, and that was the postural issue we were having with the. Very good. Let me have you have a seat facing this way for me. Right over here. Um, now we're gonna get in here. We're gonna use some, uh, actually some release techniques in the elbow before we move on to adjust it. So lift your, your shirt for me here. All right. Okay. Any tenderness in here? Yeah. Yeah. So remember I was showing you the anatomy chart? Yeah. And we're dealing with this muscle here and the, the insertion right in here instead of this muscle over here. So here's the issue down here. Yeah. Okay. Although you're feeling it up the line and you're feeling your symptom. Feel that? Yeah. Relax here for me. Relax your elbow, relax your shoulder. There you go. Good. Good. All right. Let's have you lay uh, face up for me right here. <clears throat> Hang out right there. And we're going to use a little bit of electronic stimulation on that elbow, okay? So what's the big thing I want to do? Little bit of release techniques, right? To break up some of those adhesions, get the uh, proper movement of the elbow, get some, uh, 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 adjust the elbow there. And then now we're gonna apply some electronic stimulation here. Okay. We're gonna try to create a micro massage, create some lymphatic movement, um, some, uh, 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 some circulation in here and try to release some of these uh, adhesions in the joint but as you notice i work the muscle belly as well not just the tendon right because the, the, the tendon is, is where the where it's pulling but it's the um uh, restriction in the entire forearm like even all the way down here that's causing you issues okay um like i said for future um i would recommend a session with one of our massage therapists or, or deep tissue specialists who can get in and break up some of these adhesions and eventually will fully relieve some of that issue for you of course you're a baseball player so Usually baseball players um, are going to come in with this type of issue and we keep them health well. We keep them healthy to maintain their health. Feel that? Yeah, that was weird. Can you go a little more or is that good? <laughs> that's, that's good? That's Probably to control it, put your hand inside your pocket. My hand inside my yeah. pocket. <laughs> or underneath like your, your, your leg right here. Uh, I think that's fine. That's fine right there? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll put it under. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. One little bit more. Ah. Now we're gonna leave that for about ten minutes. Let that ten move minutes. around. We'll be fine. Can we? We need less. Maybe a little bit less. Is that better? Yeah. All right, good. So we'll go about ten minutes with the <laughs> stimulation here. Like I said, we're trying to get some some uh, blood flow into the area, release some of these adhesions. Come back. I'll do a little bit more soft tissue work, and we'll be good to go. All right. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks. I guess you're gonna take my hand with it.